What's up everyone, welcome back to Steely Ops. I'm Ruth and in this video I will take you through some of our newest and exciting updates for the recommended product widget. This widget allows you to add a featured product on your thank you page to offer this product with a certain discount to your customers if they want to purchase it after completing a purchase. So I'm going to be using the thank you page builder by reconvert during this video. If you're not sure how to get to it or how to use the app, I'm going to link down below the video series explaining exactly how to use the app. Now let's just get started. So I am here in a thank you page that basically has only a few basic widgets and I want to add a featured product widget here at the right section, right below the um, order summary and the share buttons. So I'm going to go to the right area at a section and it's hidden by my image, but it's down here, the featured product. I'm going to click add. As you can see here, a basic layout of the featured product has been created. Now, again, we're going to go through the settings of this product, uh, of this widget, to see exactly what you can do with it. First, you need to choose the type of product that you want to add to display here. We have a few different options that you can use, so we're going to go through them now. The first two options are dynamic options. You have the option to choose the most expensive product purchased, or the cheapest product purchase. This basically means that the product shown here is a dynamic product based on the previous cart. So whatever is the cheapest or the most expensive product that the customer has already purchased in the order that this is the thank you page for will be displayed here. If I choose one of these options, then you can see that the preview remains pretty much the same because we don't know what the product is to show here. So we're not going to show any product. You're only going to see a product in here if you go on a live thank you page. The third option would be another dynamic option, which is the Shopify product recommendation. This is based on the Shopify product recommendation system. We basically look for recommended products from the same collection of products that have already been purchased. So this is again a dynamic recommendation based on Shopify's AI. And lastly, we have the option to show a specific product. And this is the only one that is not dynamic. Here you get to choose a specific product that you want to display and show it to the customers on every order. So let's start with a specific product and see all the rest of the details. The first thing I have to do is choose a product. I'm going to choose something to do with gardening. Let's say this one. And as you can see, the image has already been updated with the product details. And you can see even the variants here and everything. The next thing you can choose is what to do in case this product is already in the order. So if this product has already been ordered by the customer, you can choose if you want to display it or not. So you can display the selected product anyway. You can hide the featured product widget or you can display an alternative product. Let's go with displaying an alternative product here. And I'm going to show just a different type of pot. The next thing you can do is change the product title. If you want to show a different title, you can write it down here and it will display the title that I just entered instead of the actual product title. To show the product title, you just have to keep this blank. I'm going to keep it blank because I just want the customers to see exactly what they're getting. Next, I can choose if I want to display the product title above or below the image. The default is above and this is what it looks like below the image. I'm going to leave it above image. The next setting under your control is the product description. So I can choose to display or not display product description. A word of caution about product description is that if the product description is very long, it might not look very good on your thank you page, especially in mobile. So take that into account. Let's say I want to display product description. I have a product description here. It's not very long, so it's okay to show even in the right section, which is a little more narrow than the left one. But let's say I don't want to show all of that. I just want this first paragraph. I can um, copy this paragraph. And just like we did with the title, we can override the product description. 
and I can only see the first paragraph here. I'm gonna leave it like this and only show the first paragraph. The next thing I can do is choose what to do with secondary images for the product. By default, the secondary images are completely hidden. I can choose to show them below the main image. And this is what it looks like. The customer can just scroll between images and choose the one that he wants to zoom in on. And I can show them as a slideshow. As a slideshow, it will look like this, where you can just scroll between the images. I am going to choose below the main image. The next three things we can choose are the little things that really make all the difference. I can choose if I want to display a quantity picker or not. So if I choose to not display a quantity picker, the customer can only buy one at the thank you page. But I'm going to display it in this case. And you can also choose to change the text here to anything else. I'm gonna leave it at quantity. Next, you can change the variant selection. You can enable it or disable it. If I disable variant selection, then the customer cannot choose a different variant. There's only one variant that he can buy. And I can choose from my uh, specific product, which variant I want the customers to be able to purchase. Again, I'm gonna leave this checked because I want to display variant selection. The last setting is about the vendor. You can see here the vendor for this product. If I uncheck this, then I will not display vendor for the recommended product. And I'm actually going to leave it unchecked and not display the vendor. The next part is the fun part. Now we're getting to the discounts. Now, when you choose discounts, you have two basic types of discounts that you can use. You can either use the pre-made discount, which basically means that you need to create a discount code in your Shopify store and then just enter the discount code here. I would not recommend using the pre-made discount because it disables our two steps checkout solution. This solution allows customers to basically skip all of the checkout process and reach directly to the payment method step and then just complete the purchase with two simple clicks. So I would definitely recommend using the other method, which is the automatic discount. This both enables the two steps checkout solution and just lets us manage the discount for you without you having to overthink it or manage it in any other way. When you choose automatic discount, you can choose between four types of automatic discounts. The first one is free shipping. Free shipping is a great discount all on its own and there's no reason not to just offer that on the thank you page because you don't really want people to pay for shipping twice. The second type of discount is percentage and it basically allows you to offer a percentage discount to your customers that will be applied on all of the new order. The third type is a fixed amount per unit sold. So if the customer chooses two of this product, he will get a $20, in this case, discount for each one of the products that he added to cart. And the last one is a fixed amount for the entire order. This allows you to set up a discount amount that will apply for the entire order. No matter how many items are in the cart, this is the only discount the customer will get. Lastly, you can also set up free shipping for each one of these types of discounts so that if you don't want customers to pay for shipping twice you can just offer them free shipping in addition to the discount that you've already offered i'm going to use the percentage discount it's my personal favorite and we're just going to give 20 percent off let's move on to the prices the prices section in the featured product widget can get a little bit confusing so i'm going to go through each of the prices that we offer you here and talk to you a little bit about them so you understand exactly what you're displaying to the customer we basically offer three different prices that you can display to the customer i would not personally suggest displaying all three but we want to give you maximum flexibility in exactly what you show and at what kind of prices and discounts you show your customers as a first step i'm just going to enable all three so you can see what it looks like on the product widget when we look at the product here we can see three prices two of them cost and the lowest price is still available because we want the customer to know exactly what he's going to end up paying the first price we display is the product compared to price and this is the same price from shopify the original price of the product if you've set up any kind of discount on your product this is the price before discount 
The second price we will display is the product price. And this is the final product in Shopify after discount. So in this case, we have a $10 discount on this product. So the compared to price would be $19.99 and the final price would be $9.99. In Shopify, you would see the $19.99 as the compared to price and the $9.99 as the final after discount price. The third price is the one that is unique for the reconvert app. And this price is the product price, including discount. This price is basically the final, final product price after the discount coupon that you're offering in this widget. In this case, we are offering a 20% discount. So this is the price after 20% being taken off of the 999 price. Now, what can you do with all of these prices? First of all, you can change their color and size. So let's give the final price this green color. And let's make it a little bit bigger so it's bold. Okay, so as you can see, the price is bigger. Now, what I can do here, I can either show the product price from the Shopify store, or I can show the original compared to price, which will make the discount seem bigger. Alternatively, I can also not display the product compared to price, including discount, and then you will see the prices exactly as you would on Shopify with the compared to price and the final price before the discount coupon. What I'm going to do here is show the price after coupon and show the product compared to price because I want the discount to appear as big as possible. Last but not least is the buy button. You can edit this button, color and text. I'm going to start by adjusting the color to the color that we have on the rest of the thank you page. So I'm going to choose this green color and I'm going to change the text a little bit. There we go. Let's save this page and check it out on a real live thank you page. Okay. You can see in this thank you page, the featured product, we have the prices here, the product description and the option to go between variants. I'm going to, Click get this with 20% off. And I am directed to this page with all of the shipping and customer details already inserted. All I need to do is choose my payment method and I can just finish the purchase with one click. Next, let's try one of the dynamic product options. I'm going to choose the Shopify product recommendations. Once I choose a dynamic product, as you can see, the product pictures disappear and also the variants, and you only see this kind of generic template over here at the thank you page. And that's because, like I said in the beginning, we don't know what product is going to be displayed yet. You can only see that on the live thank you page. When you choose the Shopify product recommendations, we automatically do not display a product if it is in the cart already. So you don't need to worry about that. But what if there are other products that you don't want to display on the thank you page for any other reason? What you can do is use exclusion tags. That basically allows you to tag the product in whatever tag you choose and tell reconvert that you don't want to display this product on the feature product on the thank you page. So you would enter the tag that you used here and we will not display this product for you. What you can do next is choose what to do if a product is tagged with this tag. You can either display an alternative product or just hide the featured product widget. If you leave the exclusion tags blank, then it will just display all products. But if the product is already in the cart, we would just use the choice that you made here, either hide the featured product or display an alternative one. I'm going to leave most of the settings the same. There are only a few things that I would change. First of all, let's not display, display product description. Let's move to a different discount. Let's say a fixed amount of $5 because I don't want to give too much of a discount because I don't know what the product's final price would be. And I'm going to change the text at the bottom to $5. Let's save this and check it out in a real live thank you page. Now, as you can see in this thank you page, we have a recommended product by Shopify with the $5 off. Because I chose to give $5 off for each product, if I add another one to cart, I get a $10 off, etc. 
Now let's try another order and see what kind of products we get there. Okay, so we're in a different order now. As you can see, we have a different product recommended here based on the product purchased by the customer. If I click get $5 off, I will be directed to the same payment page. And voila, as you can see here, I get the $5 off for my product and I can reorder it now. So that's it. This was all about the featured product. It is a super useful product. There are a lot of settings to set because we want you guys to have maximum flexibility and have all the control over what you display on your thank you page and what kind of offers you offer your customers. It is a relatively new widget and yet it is one of our highest converting widgets already. So I would definitely recommend adding it to your thank you page. It has the potential of getting you a lot of repeat sales. If you have any more questions, feel free to contact our support or contact us through social media. We would love to talk to you and help you set up your thank you page. And I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, have fun optimizing your conversion and retention rate.